10 things you should never Google. Don't forget to subscribe. The clock spider is a widely known huntsman spider that was presumably found by someone while visiting a relative's house when he suddenly noticed the legs of a huge spider poking out from one side under the wall clock. He managed to take three photos before running from the house scared shitless. And if you want to see the photos, just google it. Orlando Magic, NBA player even for years, nickname is Never Google. And there's a reason for that. His last name, which is an old French word for boulanger or bread maker, it's also the name of a type of gangrene that affects the genitalia. Desomorphin crocodile. The straight name of desomorphin, a morphine derivative with powerful opioids effects, which has been used as a substitute for heroin in Russia and Ukraine. The side effects on the often illegally produced drugs include toxic substances, which can cook the skin or cause large scale tissue infections or damage in the injected area. It's become known as a flesh eating drug. Google. Moth larva. One redditor was looking for a moth larva and instead he ran into this beastie. We can confirm it's exactly what you expect and you should then go there. Calculus bridge. It's not really a hard maths problem. It is hardened placu across the teeth, a big old chunk of it. Generally, it has to be shipped away by a dentist. Uh, it's not that pretty, so never forget to brush your teeth, guys. Harlequin is diosis. It's a severe genetic disease in which of birth a child's skin is encased in thick white plates of skin separated by deep cracks. This has many complications because there are cracks in the skin, the newborns are more susceptible to infection and constant care is required to protect and moisturize the skin. The disease used to be considered fatal, but in 2011 the art chiefs of dermatology concluded Harlequinist diosis should be regarded as a severe chronic disease that is not invariably fatal. With improved neonatal care and probably the early introductions of oral retinoids, the number of survivors is increasing. Blue waffles. This is one of those cases where if you search with Google safe search mode enable, you will simply get some pictures of blueberry waffles and a few weird photoshop the image of actual blue waffles. But turn safe search off and grab a hold of something because you are about to get a lesson in severe vaginal infections. In March of 2010, a photo of what appears to be a woman's severely infected vagina appeared on the internet. Though it could potentially be an advanced, particularly gruesome form of virginities, there has been significant speculation that the images are fraud and part of an internet hoax. No actual woman have come forward to claim the photo, and it has yet to appear in, in any sort of a reputable medical or scientific journal. Regardless of whether the image is real or not, it is still super gross and you, sh and you definitely shouldn't look it up. Whatever medical symptom you have right now, if you're feeling ill, call your doctor. Spending any amount of time researching your symptoms online could easily convince you that your cold is actually a rare genetic disease or that an upset stomach is cancer. FDA Defect Levels Handbook The Food and Drug Administration publishes a report detailing the maximum levels of rod and hairs, maggots, and other horrible things legally permitted in your food. If you really not know how many beetles could be in your asparagus, don't google this report. Bed bug infestations. 
you probably heard about these little monsters, especially from any kind of hotel reviews. And maybe even some of you have experienced them. Their harm, skin on your own skin. But have you ever thought what bed bug infestations look like? If you want to continue sleeping at night, I'm seriously telling you, you should not look this up. Okay, thank you for watching guys. And if you like this video, do as you should, subscribe, leave a like, smash that fucking rain clock, so you never miss a single video again. See you later, creeps.